Yeah, we do. All right. That's great news. And my opponent's playing. Let's turn on the volume. All right. How, how are y'all doing? My life is feeling like it's getting back on track, back to normal. Post end of the school term, I still have to finish submitting grades. Certainly we're post COVID now. Wine tastes like wine again, which, uh, was was uh was up for debate for a while during and after covid um what should we do here i kind of let's play really uh, let's play the big one i don't know i had lots of choices play the the high the low the small low the small high actually respond up here could even play like mini chinese and play old school style all sorts of good stuff let's ignore that let's get this hyper double wing formation going on the bottom left Anyway, how are you all doing? Because I'm definitely feeling on the upswing. And that's great. Uh, yeah. So we're going to play some Go. I'm going to play some happy little Go. And here, I'll play this one. This one, this one, this one. Mm, he doesn't really have the, le the bottom. i play this one if he has actually a lot of potential on the bottom, but does not. So let's just play here. He should wedge. He could cut. No, cutting doesn't feel good with that stone there. Mm. Oh, okay. All right. It's going to connect. Oh. All right. Ask for a little more in the corner. And if he responds there, we can stand. And that's, again, kind of sente-ish. Should probably play here. Then you take a big corner. I don't I don't think this is a Joseki. <laughs> this feels very good for black. I don't even have to play again here. I can just Tanuki. Maybe even there. Or go back up to responding up here. That feels actually very good. So does down here, though. He should play there. But we made him made, make an empty triangle. And we're always happy about him making empty triangles. Let's see if we're playing. We're playing... K Wakie two. Hmm. Okay, it's good username. Hmm. Such a tasty empty triangle. This is this is big too. But we'll give him a chance to to play that. Oh, he does it right away. Okay, that's great. So we have this move, this move, this move. Those are all still nice-looking moves. Um, certainly we can attack up here. Let's settle the top left. And aim at this. He should take that as the next big point, but he might defend. Top. Uh, definitely push up in this case. He should have pushed here, I think with this uh, over here. Can you do that? I mean, I know he can do it, but... Okay. Let's just keep pushing. <laughs> Always push your opponents to get sixth line territory. That's a proverb. All right, but now now actually we made another problem for ourselves because we want to play both the top and down here. That's a little bit of a problem. Mm, there's some defects, but just dodgy... Maybe just here. This is cl clearly a point that the robot's not going to like. But, you know, we're playing some happy, good, fun go. What is... Th oh, my gosh. Also not a point the robot is going to like. I think I can play here. This is really greedy, right? It's so greedy, I love it. There's no way my opponent's going to let me get away with this. Right? You just, yeah, yeah, okay. Do I actually, I don't think I actually have like a real follow-up. I just have pretend follow-ups, which is the reason why this is so greedy. Why I should probably have just played there. Um, but, 
It's nice to feel like I do have follow-ups. Let's try it. This is a good shape point. This, this is going to be a really good speed bump, actually. Like, this is going to die regardless, eventually. Um, but it's going to feel good to play. Make it to force my opponent to capture it. Ooh. Okay, now I have a cut here. I have a cut here. What's really fascinating is because White played this weird one, he he can't just keep running. We just jump out. This just sort of takes command of everything, right? He has to connect here, but this connection is so we weird and ineffective. Yeah. So he's going to try to fix. And what if we just... It's the best way to cut here. Who knows? Let's play that one. Okay, that's cool. It's got to take. Uh, we have any time to do anything? I think we get. We have time, right? Just get, force him to capture two stones instead of one. It's always good. And let's keep that going. Keep it going. Can I just cap this and call it a, a nice day? We does have this cut. This is the cut we need to read about. Yes, let us read that cut. That cut is kind of worth playing there. <laughs> All right, good luck. All right, so we got lots of nice things going for us. He did take my corner, my beautiful, beautiful corner that we defended so patiently, but now he's kind of getting committed to this group and he's also committed to this group, which I haven't cut yet, but I can cut whenever I want. And basically if I play any move on the outside, he's, you know, I can kill with one move beyond that. Uh, this feels like a good point, but no matter what, I can live. So we're just going to take the shape point. And since he can't threaten me with death... Oh man, what is he? He's looking for this and this co. Looks like... That's what he's looking for. Or she. I'm presuming it is a he. Making so many presumptive presumptions. This co it doesn't even really. I don't want to defend against this co. What's the coolest way to defend against this co? I don't know. Is it like this? It might be like this. Hmm. 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 This gets touchy though. I think it works. Works pretty well, but the problem <laughs> is that it leaves a lot of Aji. Yeah, and also prompts him to run that way. But it's still good, right? Yep, still good. We're still out. Local response. I just want to come back over here and play a move like this. And let's do that. Dreams can come true, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this right-hand side territory. Look at that. Uh, it certainly feels like it's going great for us. And so we're going to have to spend some time figuring out why this went great for us. Because um, I think I think all the moves that my opponent played, they all made sense. Like, there wasn't anything here that... Felt, um, I have to be a little bit careful of, of this move. Uh, can he play that right away? Yeah, it's possible, but I still have a cut here, so. It's like, like he could, 
he has to do a lot of work here to make sure this is both connected and he takes away eyes. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm going to take that away. He still have a cut problem. Remember? Cut. You can take away eyes. But then you have a capturing race where you have no eyes. And I have one. We'll definitely have to investigate this lower right because this did not look like it. Like, 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 if you look at it now, it looks like these two black stones are captured, and it looks like black and white both had even results. But there's st still a lot of hodging these two stones. I have an attachment or this little submarine move. Ah, oh, it's okay. So he's trying to fix that cut. Cut has been fixed. Oh, can we just play this one? This one just makes him sad, right? Like, this is just the sad move. <laughs> Oh, he has, he can make two eyes here. Uh, yeah, we gotta play that one. Might have to poke here. He should take this right now, I think. A little dangerous. We gotta do a little bit of reading. Uh, where is it? Oh, okay. He's still looking at this co that we read out so long ago. We can play that way after all these other exchanges. Okay. Mm, I guess that actually defends against that, so that's kind of neat. That is neat. Do I have liberties for this? Oh, I just play here, right? I... He's om he he's really close to having two eyes, because this threatens to take away my eye. But I think I just play there. All right, so let's play that. All right, so I'm down to one eye, but I can just play here and make sure that's not an eye, and I can just play here. Uh, okay. Okay. We already read this out. Oh, what is... Oh, that's not false eye. Okay, good. Um, I almost got scared for a second. I already read this out. We already did this reading a long time ago. When we first saw this co-shape. Feeling like we still got it. What could go wrong? This is the time. I mean, we should have been asking all of this whole time. Like, what could go wrong? Yep, there is this cut problem here. Sure, sure. Yes, I recognize you have a fun cut there. You do get to have fun. No joke. Um... Mm hmm. Mm. Taking all the free stuff. Uh, okay, so now we have <laughs> something has gone wrong. <laughs> we have this move. Should we take this first? I think this is good. No, no, we want the liberty. All right, definitely want the liberty. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. We'll ask. Can we have this, please? Maybe. Mm-hmm. Uh, we, we, it also might be useful just to do a Liberty Counting Race, because we don't have that many <laughs> on this group here, because we've been cut. White did find a nice way to cut through. Five, seven, looks like we only have eight Liberties. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's a so it's like seven liberties. Yep, there you go. So he's gonna get some more. And that is fine. Oh but no, but now we need to respond to that, huh? And this one's actually better in this case now. Take away the liberty and process. He is eyeing this little shortage problem. So we play there. And we just say, yes, you can have this. I just want to make sure this is all dead. <laughs> I'm going to tidy it up, fix there. Uh, new liberty count is one, two, three, four. Yeah, it's gonna. Uh, this just guarantees we get everything. Okay. Oh, maybe I should have played this first. I should have probably gotten this little bit of Aji before capturing on the inside. Ah, uh, well. Because after once we fix this, yep, yep. See. You guys see this? That stone would have been really useful. All right, we do need to fix over here. We have a pretty glaring weakness. Let's just be nice and patient and just fix it that way. Uh, in the end, I might need to actually fill in all of this. Oh no, I shouldn't because this is a this is a uh, an eye. So, should be one eye versus no eye. Although there's not, actually there's not that many inside liberties, so the, having the extra eye actually isn't that helpful. But still, I have, I have more than enough liberties now. Because he really only has one, two, three, four, five. And I've got five just on this part, never mind. This one, or the eye, or down here. We have way, way many liberties. Uh, this is good move. Good move. Can we have some Aji here? Man, I wish we had this Atari. All, all the cues who are watching this video are kicking me right now. Because <laughs> they're all, they all would have played this so long ago. <laughs> oh, well. All right, let's take this big move. Oh, maybe I should have played more aggressive. Oh, he's not going to play more. Yeah, that's fine. Um, he's going to try to use this thickness, right, to start some fights in here. And that's fine. I've got my own AG that I'm trying to utilize. Really? Uh, what's best? <laughs> this cut. And this one? How, how how deep does this rabbit hole go? <laughs> Can I come up? <laughs> this is dirty, right? Do we all agree this is pretty dirty? Does it work? That's really hard for him to deal with. Okay. All right, well. If he's just going to block, then... He didn't even think. I wanted him to think, because this was actually a really subtle move. Maybe it's not that subtle, but subtle, but obviously more subtle than he was aware of. To making all this very deadly for very black became very venomous here now. Cause this white group is not settled. This white group is not settled, and my black stones are looking pretty baller. Uh, if you haven't read it out, by the way, white connects, black just plays here. If white connects, well, black just Ataris and captures all this. So, 
I don't think there's any way for actual for white to save both of these stones or either of these stones really. Why save either one of them? Mm, definitely not this one. We know white can't save this one. What about this one? I guess here. It's very painful for black to save it. And for white to save it. No, oh, maybe it works though. Here? Mm, no. No, this is the best move locally, at least in this area. Yeah, this is definitely the hardest one for black to deal with. Okay, good. He found it. Uh, so here, he makes bamboo joint. Oh, but then we're... Yeah, so he... Uh, can he play this one? Yeah, he can play there. And actually capture the three. Alright, this this move does kind of work, which makes us very sad. Just here? Is this good? Anybody know? Mm, not good enough, right? Yeah, because he just comes down. Um, none of, none of this actually works for black. This was good. So it looks like he'll capture these three. Um, but it'll be Gote, which means we can just come back and attack these. And so everybody is fine. It looks like everybody is fine. Oh, is this a move? Oh, yeah, I can just play this. Guys, guys, what were we thinking? What was I thinking? This is just, it just works. <laughs> I got, okay. <laughs> um, he, oh, he's going to link this up to that? That seems like a terrible plan. <laughs> like technically, or technically, you can make that live. This is true. Technically, you can make that live. All the power to you. Be my guest. Where? Oh, he's playing over here. Far out. Um, yeah, that looks pretty good. Hmm. Yeah, it turns out that that's a that's a nice looking move. How much do I care about these stones? Not that much. Not not enough to like really care. If they die, and we can take the outside. We're we're happy. Like, again, this, this, mm. he's, so he's aiming at this and this. That's the plan. But, oh, wow. All right. One more. Are you going to play this way? Okay. That's fine. Can we play this way? We'll just play this very crude. Huh? Oh, this doesn't work. Whoops. All right, all right, all right. I needed to read like one thing that I didn't read. <laughs> oh, but this one. Yeah? Yeah. Eat it. I pulled that out of my butt. <laughs> I should, I, I'm still, I'm still, my, my concentration is still like thinking more about this area. And so I just don't want to like acknowledge that there's anything important going on in this uh, part of the board. <laughs> Uh, but this connection feels really big. I know we gave up a lot. Like, the thing is, we, we paid for this. Like, oh dearie, did we pay for it. But now, yep. But now we got, we got some business going on. Because, oh man. I think we just play this one, right? Oh, we can start with this. And just threaten this big cut. This might be not needed. Doesn't feel necessary. Let's not play moves that aren't necessary. Let's play here. This one feels necessary. And let me pull back. Is there a danger here? There's definitely a danger here. Um, okay. Play. Slice there. OK. 
Okay. Dun, dun, dun. I think all this is fine. Leave that cut. Okay. That's free, I guess. Yeah, he can take that whenever he likes. Oh, maybe I should have actually played there. Maybe I should just give it. Oh, no, these are dead. I can't give this up. Okay. All right. Stay focused. Stay on track. Uh, any connect? Does this change anything? No, because I have that. So this is all still good for me. Uh, let's just take this shape, the shape point. Uh, we can take this shape on the way. Make some pee his pants a little bit. And just play here. All right. All right. What a fun game. <laughs> Does that do with anything? Like what, what is, oh, he's just fixing the cut, but he can make an eye there. So should we just play here and just like go balls out? I don't see how we don't. Can't even imagine a world where we don't play that. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure I, th I should put more thinking in this. This is the part of the game where I get really cocky, and I'm just like, you know, we're, we're just playing a Titan for Dawn. Like, it's fine. <laughs> oh, so cocky right now. I love, this is why this is why I have to play, like, very solid, safe moves, and I can't play these aggressive games, because in these aggressive games, I kill something, and then I'm like, what? Come at me, bro. And that's not good. <laughs> that's just not good. I don't know what this is about. Are you just... Oh, he gets that for free? Does it work? So he can take this move now. Um, right? Dun, dun. Yeah, so let's just play this. Oh, maybe that means he lives now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, Ko? No, Ko would be, well, I don't know. We, we didn't, we didn't do this right, guys. <laughs> we didn't do this right. We gave up, we gave up too much for a failure, failure to launch over here. Um, but we'll try. We can try. So we got this over here. Do, do. This is Sente, right? I mean, it's not really Sente. It's just Sente to live with this group. He's probably just going to make this live. Everybody's going to live, except this poor thing. Okay, he says no, no to life. Hmm. Right. <laughs> not a real, uh, not a real anything. So that's unfortunate. Nah, I guess we knew that. All right, let's do things to solidify corner things and attack these things. Um, okay, just take more corner, I guess. I could work really hard to try to break this apart, but not until I have a little bit more. This doesn't do anything. So he's just, he's just, everybody's just protecting. That sounds great. Mm, is this the move? I think that's a good move. This is also pretty big. Ooh, that, that goes deep. Are you sure? Let's start with that, and then let's play that, and let's see where this little stone's gonna go, because I don't know. Okay, that technically worked, or is a threat, let's put it that way, that is a threat. Well, let's just connect over here, and 
Yeah, that feels fine. Is there a connection? A little bit. Can I just play here, though? I think so. Mm-hmm. This would also be very large. That would actually basically equal... Oh, it's going to... Oh, that's good. Oh, he's got to play that move. All right, so there's no hope. No hope for white. Uh, yeah, this is equal to all that, at least. And then I still have all this. I mean, this is equal to that. So, you know, this is looking pretty hopeless. Okay. Sure. <laughs> you gonna connect now? <laughs> okay. Um, all right, end game. I guess this is a pretty good end game. That's a good end game. Like he can try to, and you know, he really needs an eye here before he tries anything. There's just so many shared liberties between the two of these. And even then, even if even if he has some plays in here, it'll be either some like ridiculous multi-step co, which it won't be. Or it'll be some like big eye versus small eye if I let him make a small eye and none of those are oh he did take that. What a good move. Good for you. So we get to take this. Maybe that. So yep, that was that was a big move. Uh, I guess, oh, yep, that's good. That one's big too. Okay. Mm, sure. Not a lot of thinking left, uh, or at least, at least serious thinking. Again, the score is not that close. Uh, do I even want to try and do a quick count? I got plenty of time on the clock, actually. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 20, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 7, 3, 9, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9, about almost 80 for black. Five captures, connect, about 80 for black, so what does white have? Uh, two more captures and a comey for, let's round up to five, that's five pairs, that's what I'm counting. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, like, low sixties? Looks like at least 20. Um, hmm. Is this a problem? <laughs> this is a problem, right? Guys. Guys, this is a problem. I guess I always have to capture, oh, I guess, well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have, a, I have a lot fewer liberties here than I realized. Hmm. Hmm? Hmm. Uh. All right, everyone, we can resume going about our business. <laughs> yeah, that was really dangerous. We should look at that. I bet, oh my God, if that if that was actually a legit thing, this AI review is going to be totally just, ah, uh, just, just total garbage. That 
That's good. All right, take this. This is big. Take that. <laughs> Maybe I should take this one first, I think. Oh, all right. Um, yep. Yeah, yeah, that was big enough. Hmm. Uh, anything here? Plays there. I play there. Right. So we always end up with a lot on the inside. We can play this one. And this one. Got this one here. He's probably looking, just staring at that. Okay. Okay. Mm hmm Oh yeah, that's a point. <laughs> oh, capturing would have been better, right? For playing Chinese rules. I don't know what rules that we're using. I assume it's Korean. I don't know. <laughs> We'll just take all those. All right, we're going to counting. Uh, one by 44 points. Huh. Sure. Miscounted it by a lot. Oh, no, wait, it was 20 point. Was it 20 points? No, I counted. I, uh, I don't know. All right, anyway, so that was a game. That was that was good. Uh, let's let's do some robot things, uh, and I'll come back and and uh, share with you what we learned. And right about now, all right. So <laughs> we have to make fun of myself at multiple points during this because oh, I I could have lost this. Uh, here, let's show you the graph. Um, <laughs> There were some parts where I was approaching 100-point victories and totally didn't take advantage. And there was also a part where I almost lost it around move 100. You can actually see I kind of slipped up where uh, <laughs> this little white patch is. Uh, but, you know, for the most part, after move 120, after that cleared up, everything was pretty smooth sailing. But, yeah, I had some real crushing blows. It's just that after I got to this point, I just sort of uh, assume my opponent will resign, <laughs> like, at some point. Like, I assume they have better things to do with their life, but... Uh, you know, maybe not. That's fine. Like, you play, you you know, you can fight to the end, for sure. Uh, anyway, let's disable that for the time being. Let's show you some cool moves. Uh, the AI did like that move there, by the way. And, uh, the first question, w actually, for, at least for me, was the AI still liked black playing here. Um... Which, which, you know, normally I would, I would play without hesitation if white had any other stones over here. I would certainly go in the corner and try to build this side. Um, so it's, a, it's not a huge difference, but did have, it still had a slight preference for that one, just, I guess, because this uh, stone is enough to try to build something in the bottom for, for white. So even with just that one stone, black should ask, uh, can I connect to the left? Ask for a little more in the corner. Um, but... My opponent did make a mistake here. This move is not good. And I countered it uh, exactly how the AI would with this Hane first and this extension. Um, but then here, this is where we divulged again. Um, I didn't quite know the right shape move to continue here. And it just looked like I have too many options. Uh, you know, certainly I have this, 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 this. Uh, some cases even this or this. But, you know, for the most part, these are the, the main ones. And also later I have this too. And 
this is a thing that happens a lot in my games when I just have so many options. I just go, well, if I have that many options, clearly none of them are important and write it off. But no, no, no. The AI says this is definitely worth continuing and black should just play here. And you don't want to play this one because this induces white to lean on you too directly. If white chooses to make this exchange, you're still, you still, this stone still feels okay. Unlike this one over here. And so, yeah, I just got a, I got a not tanuki there when I see, you know, an embarrassment of riches and just be like, yeah, I'll get something out of it. Like, I don't, <laughs> it seems fine. I just need to, you know, keep these separated, keep the pressure on. So that was the first time I didn't take advantage of it. Again, black is still winning. There's not, like, it's not a lot, but it's still to black's advantage. This move is fine if I'm not going to play down here. Um, but yes, this is the preferred AI move to just settle this right now. Uh, this is all fine. Um, however, here, yeah, the AI definitely wants white to lean here, or even better, just play here directly to make sure you get that exchange as white. Uh, just when you have, or when I have, this sort of corner formation going, giving me a wall that goes up this direction is just not not good. I know in the game I made a, a brief little interlude-ish joke about, you know, giving white sixth line territory, um, but this is, these are all AI moves. The AI totally agrees, like, oh yeah, you know, this is, <laughs> this influence and pushing from behind is totally fine because the board is laid out with the right spacing. Um, with black owning the left-hand corner and the top still invadable despite all these extra stones. AI's favorite move on this invasion was to pincer third line, and that's pretty reasonable. Um, it just gives my stones a little bit more happy of a wiggle room. It's hard for white to attack this directly. Um, like, even if white gets that, and I just play the simplest variation is to jump out, uh, you know, white might go, well, I can invade the corner... So maybe takes all this. If there, there's a co here that white might leave. Um, but this is happy enough for black. Like all this influence works with this. Um, white's territory can still be reduced. There's still some weakness here. White needs really another po another move to solidify all this. Um, that'd be fine. Totally fine. Uh, this move, the A didn't hate as much as I thought it would. Um, <clears throat> Still not his favorite move, but but apparently it's playable. Like, it's it's not a huge loss. Uh, definitely AI agreed this was an overplay. Should not play that. Uh, the preferred thing for the robot to do is actually just poke at the shape right away. White makes a weird shape move, just poke at it. Force white to fix if white really wants to keep connected here. And then this feels nice. This feels very nice. Whoops. Ah, no. I didn't even know that key opened. Oh, that's, that's cool. I didn't know that key opened that window. Neat. All right. <laughs> Learn something new every day. Uh, it's also overplay. <laughs> All this is overplay. But here, this move I want to show you because this one, this one, I didn't even, it wasn't on my radar. Like, I didn't even consider it. Um, instead of connecting here like it did in game, the yeah, I said, don't care about this stone so much. Just play here. And you can see this sets up a couple different things. Number one, if, let's say, uh, you know, white connects this way or even goes up and does this push cut variation. This move, number one, helps the thing I've already been doing, right? Build this outside. But now these three stones are just stranded. I can kill them whenever I want. And there's nothing white can do about it except play a Gote move. And granted, I don't need to kill them right now. No one's going to save them or kill them right now. But that means that if white needs a Gote move over here to, to not let these die, then uh, this whole area of the board is actually really strong for black. Like, it can't really be underestimated, the amount of strength here. <clears throat> Meanwhile, there's still Aji um, over here. So, <coughs> White's going to feel very compelled to play another move over here to, to clean this up. It's going to be a very nice result for Black. This is this is too... Eh, it's not using all the flexibility in the world, and White takes my point, which, you know, is unfortunate. Um, this is still the AI move. This is still... You have to play here. No other choice. Um, this is all fine for white. However, mistake here. Uh, in the game, uh, I guess it's not really mistake. Well, here let's let's debate it a little. There's a couple mis there's a couple subtle mistakes according to the eye here. Um, the first of which is that um, after cutting here once, the AI 
wants to prefer, let's take that off the board, to come back and take the corner and just prevent any shenanigans here with this bottom right and, and force white to take this. And that's really interesting. Um, just letting white split you and not having anything to really attack. It's, it doesn't, it doesn't sit well with me, but remember we still have a cut here. So this stick has a resource available. And uh, in the meantime, if, uh, well, white can't really block this very well. <laughs> Cause uh, that, you know, we can come back and cut. So if we descend here, uh, white should probably take, in which case we get this sort of little end game result. Um, the AI even likes playing here in certain circumstances. Um, just to make sure this white group doesn't get two eyes. Uh, this is a six stone on the second line line. And if you know anything, this can never make two eyes, even if white has sente. It's always one eye. Uh, seven, if you have sente, you can make two eyes. Eight is guaranteed life. So if you don't know that rule, um, if you don't know that rule, this is a really good go little, uh, what do you call it, uh, heuristic. <laughs> To, to go off of, you have six in a row, is it, and, you know, assuming you don't have infinite space to run, like let's put some white stones here. You know, if it's like this, you're dead, no matter what, even if it's your turn, nothing you can do. But if you have seven, and it's your turn to move, you can live if you have the first move. If you don't have the first move, white kills you. And then eight, always lives even if your opponent has the first move. So you can see, what? That doesn't work. What? Two, three. Did I not count eight? I did not count eight. That is not eight, that is seven. All right, <laughs> thus proved, seven dies if your opponent gets the first move. Anyway, that's the, that's the heuristic. That's really useful. And so why a lot of players can just look at this and go, oh yeah, that's, that only has one eye. Because <laughs> it's only a row of six. So six is dead or one eye. Seven who is whoever has sente, eight is always alive. Okay, all right, enough of that excursion. Comes down. Uh, this is all good, this, these are all the AI moves. AI wants to play all this out after this two stones gets cut. And uh, this was overplay. This is very good for black. The AI, I, we thought about this a little bit during the game. We were looking for a, for a fun way to respond to the potential for this cut and co kind of formation. The AI's favorite move, of course, is just to connect. <laughs> it's just, just play there. So simple, doesn't care about doing anything fancy whatsoever. Just stay strong and the end. <laughs> this is asking for a little bit too much. However, uh, instead of here, the AI, the AI was just like, no, no, just cut this. Just don't, you don't have to go after the whole thing. You, you should just be happy killing four stones. And I don't know, that feels a little bit wrong to me. I mean, it, I guess it makes sense because this is like a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush kind of proverb. If I kill these four stones immediately right now, I have no problems the rest of the time. Um, like this is all just really easy. <laughs> but I don't know, I sense blood in the water. I want more, right? I want the whole thing. Um, one good, one really good shape point coming up that I missed in the game. After all this, when white plays here, first of all, I connected, I shouldn't connect. <laughs> Instead, I should play here. Uh, just again, poking at the white shape point, which also helps me make eyes. Um, but even after I connect and I play this way and white fixes the shape, I have a better move. Now in the game I played here, I, I came back and I played the shape point. But there's a better point for black to play. See if you can find it. And I can tell you in the game, the two points I was debating between was here and here. And neither of those are best. So. Best shape point to help this group. If you guessed here, oops, <laughs> you'd be correct. This is actually a very nice point. Like it's deceptively nice. It looks like we're helping out the group from the wrong side because um, it feels like, uh, you know, our opponent can cut through, <laughs> but this doesn't do anything. Right? This is this is not a, like nor normally we don't like to make these two space uh, jumps if we need to connect, because because they can't connect, right? This does not connect. White just clamps. And if we play this, white just takes. So that's why we don't like the two space uh, big knights jumps. But in this case, if white disconnects, we can make two eyes. Like it's like, that's fine. Like either, either of those results is fine. 
Um, obviously, and if we if we if our opponent does something like this, um, then we can play something like this and also be fine. So this is this is the move. Totally missed it. I would have simplified the game so much more <laughs> instead of playing all this. And then here, this is. This is the move that give, get, really gives my opponent a really big opportunity. AI is just like, what are you doing? Just, just block. Like, there's nothing fancy here. And I'm still thinking, oh yeah, this, this is pretty fancy. <laughs> like, this is this is a, a problem, right? And no, this is this is not a problem. <laughs> uh, <laughs> server, no, there's never time for that. So, I, you know, in the game, I just thought, I don't know, maybe there would be something here for white, but. Turns out the other cuts I left are so much worse. <laughs> uh, this is not the best move here. Here's another shape problem. If you guys are liking the shape problems that arose in this game, here it is. You can pause the video, find a better move for black that kind of accomplishes the same thing. And I can tell you how I got to my... This move in the game was like, well, I need to make sure I have an eye over here, and I want to maximize inside internal liberties. Because if this comes to a capturing race and I have one eye and my opponent has zero, then I'll still win, right? Because I have an extra internal liberty. So that's why I got to this move. But there's a better move. And again, it's a very it's a very double-digit Q move, which makes it fantastic in these sorts of little reviews. It's this Hane. And to just show you how this works. Uh, number one, if I don't if I don't play anything, right, white can always take away. Let's just play over here. The eyes with either this move or this move. And in this case, this would go to Ko. Um, or maybe is this one better? This one might be better. Uh, yeah, that one. Yeah, this, this one's better for sure. Um, any way to get back to Ko from here? Yeah, kind of. Oh, actually, maybe not. Yeah, that was it. Hold on. <laughs> if we play here, white has to do this way. Yes. There we go. Uh, so, this is the problem. There's no eye here. And this moves, you know, certainly uh, allows there to be an eye. Um, but only in either in Gote or in Ko. It's because this otherwise white can falsify this. So this move actually isn't great. It doesn't actually make a perfect eye because it's in Gote again, or in Ko, white gets a bunch of free, free moves. This move uh, prevents, certainly prevents this one, right? White can't come underneath now. Uh, it also it sort of prevents this one. I mean, it is this Ko thing, um, but also, I, I mean, in, in a real desperate situation, I could extend this for a few inter, uh, local Ko threats. Um, But, um, hold on, better than that, <laughs> right, is that if white plays here, I disconnect, <laughs> right? So, so in other words, black, by playing this Hane, white really wants to respond again. And once I play that, then this, that threat of that Ko goes away, white needs to play again, and in this case, black does need to play against. So this is Gote, just like the move I played, right? Just like, in-game I played this one, white didn't need to respond. This one, it's also Gote, but now the liberties for this white group already limited over here. I can even throw in if I really want to take away more liberties. Um, I still have a, I have a guaranteed eye now. There's nothing white can do to take away this eye. And uh, yeah, this is, this is like, I, like I shorten white's liberties. I guarantee myself an eye. And now white doesn't have any opportunity to gain more liberties or get an eye over here. <laughs> I think that's the biggest part. So in this case, this very crude looking Hane um, really just commits white to some sort of dumb shape in a way that my move doesn't. <laughs> uh, and then here, the AI is screaming. AI is like, you need to disconnect right now. <laughs> uh, it, white does get to disconnect, disconnect later, so it's not a big deal. But yeah, these cuts are pretty deadly. The AI preferred to play here instead of my move. Small difference. And then here... Uh, the AI says, no, no, just connect here. <laughs> just play the caption race out. White gets a big advantage, but it works well enough. Uh, black can win. And by playing here, did not like it. Uh, looks, you know, black is actually kind of short on liberties. 
and to here. Also, the AI really hated my move. <laughs> AI is just and now and loves this white disconnect. Okay, because now this capturing race is actually really valuable. Um, if black plays a move like this, and this is the thing that we missed for a little while, uh, this is Ko. This is not two eyes. So we we mess around with all this stuff, and after black captures here, I have enough to to not be scared anymore. As you saw in the game, I won the capturing race by one move. But until that, uh, I have very good reason to be very scared. <laughs> um, as you guys saw, again, with that one move capture race. Uh, this move, correct. Yep, the playing just the slow one to defend. And over here, actually, uh, this, this on the bottom was not the AI's favorite. It was the other two um, that was looking. Actually, I think it also liked this, even this one better as well. But in the game, mine worked plenty fine. Again, same thing, the AI actually still preferred this little submarine kind of move. Uh, but still good enough. Even here, it still preferred this descend downward. <laughs> really didn't like all this uh, sliminess that I played. Um, and then here, absolutely, the, the AI actually really liked this move, but wanted to do it before this connection, just to define shape. This is a really nice timing to ask. Like, hey, are you going to block here? And if white blocks, you go, great, I'm going to kill this, or I'm going to kill this. And not a lot black can do about it, or white can do about it. Um, so this is very dirty timing. Puts white in a real bind. I played it. After making this exchange, white doesn't have to respond here. But uh, let's see what does... Yeah, white should just play here and just, you know, <laughs> try to shore up over here, it looks like. Do, do, do. This is very nice. Again, my opponent didn't take any time whatsoever during the game, if you remember that part. Uh, and this is all very good. This actually, the AI did not like this move <laughs> uh, for reasons that you basically saw during the game. This invasion on the left it should not work for black. I just botched it real hard. After this move, black just plays here and it's over. Like, but white can still make this whole thing into a capturing race. But this is just dead. All the left hand is black. And I just botched it. I just gave up. Again, I was, I even mentioned, I was like, I'm not really thinking, I don't really want to think about this. My opponent can do whatever they want over there. Whoops, I do not want to delete. But, uh, yeah, we had to give up lots of stones here, which was sad. Although we did get some, some compensation by saving this stone on the outside. Actually, it's a lot of compensation because white is actually in big trouble. <laughs> this move is great. My next move is not so great. Instead of here, just here. Huge difference. Huge difference. If we uh, play this one, um, if white follows, I was worried about the. I was worried about white playing there. Let's see what uh, uh, here, and then cut, and then oh, then we come back and play this. Okay, I see. Yep, this is just fine. Yeah, just keep. I, I just didn't keep them separated. Once again, this is twice in this game where I didn't separate this group from something. I just had a blind spot for that, that corner of the board and keeping it separated. I just gave white way too much credit, way too much entitlement. Uh, oops. Do, 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 do. All right, so anyway, in the game, we played that move first, which is a big difference. <laughs> that is the shape point, but again, I didn't get this cut. <laughs> And so white got to connect. Sadness. But this is all fine. My move is great. This move is great. White should be terribly, terribly sad. Black here has an amazing move, at least according to the AI. Totally not on my radar. They just guarantees no more problems. Uh, and also, before I even show it to you, I just want to show you that black, white really has one eye in the corner. Um, if we get this and this, this is only one eye. Because that and that, or that and that. Like, it's only one eye. So I, so because I popped out any eye potential here, and may, maybe there's one here, but not really. <laughs> All I have to do is basically keep white from gaining enough uh, strength over here to get an eye, and make sure white can't capture these three stones. That's all I have to do. And so, again, to recap, because white only has one eye down here, Let's go back to the game. All I have to do is make sure white can't get an eye here and white can't cut through here and capture these 
these three stones. So, using that knowledge, let's find a good move. You can pause the video before I tell you what the AI came up with, if you want. But otherwise, the AI says this play here. Isn't that ridiculous? Like, this is just, this is just the most ridiculous thing I've seen this entire game. Like that's that's insane, right? Like it is is so unnatural. Like this is such this is this is like triple digit Q move. <laughs> like just extent right there, just for no reason. But again, it has the nice effect of allowing that to help link up or helping this stone essentially link up to here, and just reaching out into this area that White is trying to make another eye in. Amazing. Like how is that? That is that is like ah. Ah, it hurts, it hurts. <laughs> so popping out the eyes down here are not worth it. White gets this momentum. And here I totally hallucinated again. I should still play here. Um, I was worried about this for some dumb reason. Um, and the thing is, is that yes, I lose two stones, but again, if I really wanna, like that's still only one eye. <laughs> so I can still threaten to kill the whole group with this move. And I'm super strong and I just, I just don't know where White's gonna find an eye. Let's see what the AI says if I, whoops, no! Go back, go back. Misclick, all right, all this, da, 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 da. No, 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 not the code. We want the variation where I don't screw up. Here's this, something like that. It's White gets that, atari. it's it's fine, it's something very similar. Um, here if we do, Enable AI review now. Yep, okay, so black takes away the eye. AI says play there. This is just hopeless, right? Like how? Play there. Sure, this is cut. Go here. Play here. Oh, there's double Atari here, fascinating. Okay. Just being very safe. White's almost out. Nope, now this is the point where we say, nope, you don't get out. Wow, it wants us to take that, take that. I don't know what we're chasing here. This is, I'm just trying to see if the AI can figure out a way if this links up or not. It's, it's AI, yeah, it's often AI crazies. Let's ignore it. <laughs> um, but anyway, going back, all the way back to, uh, where's the move, hold on. Instead of here, just like playing this extension. It's it's so hard for white to do anything. <laughs> it's just a cover. Maybe play there. Yeah, just play there. Like, sure. This is searching. Just cut. Yeah, just cut. Yep, and now it's like, give up! <laughs> It's, it's, it's like, okay, <laughs> we we don't need that group. <laughs> that whole thing. Sorry, I missed opportunity there. This 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 had some chances to be a 100-point win. In the end, it was 40, so also my, my counting was embarrassingly off. I, I count very conservatively for myself. You guys should know that by now. I do not give myself enough credit. <laughs> um, okay, the last thing that was interesting in this game, you can actually see... At this point, if you look at this graph, there's actually one last moment where I take a bunch of points. And that's because at this moment, the AI is still calculating, and this is kind of amazing, that the this corner, that's a terrible color. I picked brown. Brown does not draw on a go board. Let's pick purple. Uh, this corner is actually white. So this, or at least white has infiltrated and reduced it from being black points at the very least. So this score right now is reflecting that fact. And uh, the 40 point score that we ended the game with, or 40, whatever it was, um, was basically when White didn't, didn't get that. I was just squirming too hard, too directly. And so let me show you, let me disable, show you, show you how that works. And it starts with, instead of going down on this side, going down on this side. And black crawls, white crawls, black crawls, white crawls. Black has to come back here and cut at some point to make sure these four stones don't get captured. And when white does that, white can hane. Again, black has to capture these stones. Gains a liberty. 
comes back under here, and you can start to see, oh, if black has to take the time to capture, then, um, I guess, can we play, wait, what's the timing of this? Uh, do it, what can black do? It's not capturing there, I guess. That's, that's a co though, right? That's, that's super dangerous. That's, <laughs> don't want to fight that co. If you just play this, same thing. Is this two to two? Is this just not, uh, not fast enough. So black needs to waste a bunch of moves capturing these three stones and then white can actually get in here, which is amazing and very cool. But uh, once white does not do that, you can see there's a 16 point loss here by just connecting now, black displays here and this is all dead. The end. White doesn't get any points in the corner. And the rest of the game is boring. It is really, really boring. Um, it does say, want white to play over here. And, you know, we I play the right moves. I play this, play this Atari, play here. I'm playing all the AI moves. And it wins by one, one liberty, which is uh, a little close for call, <laughs> a little close of a call. And I totally didn't read it out. <laughs> I just assumed it would work. It, it eyeballed it. I eyeballed it. It looked like it had plenty of liberties. And uh, yeah, the rest of the score really doesn't change much. We're just hanging around 46 points. Ending score, I guess white gains an extra point somewhere, but whatever. So in conclusion, uh, what am I going to title this video? This was... Um, I need, I need better titles for these games. These are sort of like, like uh, just fun Taijim Fordon games that are a little crazy, a little cocky. Maybe, maybe that's it. Just a little cocky. Ah, all right, we'll go with it. That's it. <laughs> I know half of you are cringing out there. <laughs> but that's fine. That's fine. All right, anyway, uh, happy June. Hopefully you guys are playing lots of Go, and we'll see you in the next one.